Hello everyone, I'm Adam with Demiplane. Thank you for joining me for this week's dev update and community Q&A session. We are going to talk about what we are, what we have been working on in the uh, you know recent past, so in the last week or two, and then we are going to talk about what is upcoming, so what is on deck with the roadmap, and then you can ask any question that you would like. So I get the favorite dinosaur, uh, you know, insert favorite movie of insert genre here, you know, all kinds of questions. I will answer whatever I can get to. You can also ask questions about what we're doing here at Demiplane. And I encourage you to do that because I answer anything that I can possibly, uh, you know, that, that I actually have a response for. I will answer uh, things, you know, very, uh, in a very uh, transparent way, whatever we can talk about. So uh, take advantage of that. And you can type that in chat right now. Just type the word question and then follow that by the question itself. And we have a magical Demi bot that is collecting all of those. And I will uh, rush through those at the end of our stream. So first of all, with latest updates, we are uh, we have uh, Pathfinder Nexus early access going on, and uh, we we are really uh, kind of uh, developing quite the catalog here. So Pathfinder uh, Second Edition has so many great products out at this point, and uh, we've made big pushes to try to catch things up. We're at a point now where uh, there have been several new things that are coming out. So we have uh, worked really hard to make sure that we are staying uh, completely on top of all of the new releases. And we had a uh, whole batch of those come out uh, last week. So uh, technically it was after the dev update last week, the day after we did release the Kingmaker Anniversary Edition, Crown of the Kobo King, and the next installment in the Blood Lords Adventure Path. So check all of those out. Uh, Kingmaker holds a special place in my heart, and the second edition update is really, really great. So, uh, so give that a go if you're looking for something uh, just really epic and, and kind of sprawling that you can play with your group. If you're trying to get into Pathfinder, uh, into Pathfinder second edition, this is a wonderful place to uh, kind of commit to a long-term campaign. And if that isn't your thing, then there are many standalone adventures out there uh, that you can jump into, uh, including things like Crown of the Cobalt King. So, uh, so definitely check those out. We are working on the internal alpha for the character builder and digital sheet. We uh, have an actual pre-alpha build up there that is available in, uh, we'll, we'll call it an external environment. Uh, last week I shared that we were uh, going to be giving the Paizo team some access to this for the first time. So that was a big milestone for us uh, that uh, has happened. And again, this is still super early. So, uh, you know, all of, um, uh, there are many places where it is rough around the edges and uh, many places where we're trying to integrate things and get things built up into the right place. But uh, we do have it in a pre-alpha build. And I might show you a little bit of that a little bit later in the stream. So, uh, so yeah, just uh, some, uh, a quick glance at some of that. But, uh, but mainly the, the, the core thing here to say is that as you're building something that is this complex, uh, you are building it in uh, pieces with different uh, you know, uh, members of the team, uh, you're uh, talking in theoreticals and concepts for a long time, but then when all of that starts to actually materialize, then you got to start bringing all those uh, disparate elements uh, kind of together into the build of an environment because we have our development environment that is a separate kind of thing. And so, uh, so this is actually a pretty big milestone. And uh, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll take a, a quick glance at that a little bit later. On the Vampire Nexus side in early access, uh, we did receive an update uh, late last week that uh, they, uh, the Paradox team, the World of Darkness team, was hopeful that they would get the uh, files to us, the updated files for Cults of the Blood Gods and Chicago by Night by this week. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see if uh, that can happen. But the moment that we get those new files, and uh, you know, we assess the scope of, of any changes. Again, we haven't seen what those are yet, 
Um, but uh, I, you know, I'm kind of getting an indication that it's not going to be too uh, widespread. And so once we get those changes in place, we are going to make those updates and get those ready for release. And so I imagine that by next week's dev update, I will have a much more uh, specific update that I can give you on that. Uh, either way, the team is going to work really uh, quickly once we get those files and we'll get those books out. So more on that very soon. Uh, Alien RPG Nexus, we are work in progress on Colonial Marines and Destroyer of Worlds. We are very close on Colonial Marines. I was working with it yesterday. Uh, kind of, uh, I, uh, I am the final pass often on these. And so working with that one, uh, we will get it submitted to Free League for their review at some point this week. And so um, it would not surprise me if uh, we have some news on that one by next week's dev update as well. And then Avatar Legends Nexus, uh, it came out uh, again last Wednesday, the day after uh, the, the previous dev update, but the core book and Wan Shi Tong's Adventure Guide. I love Wan Shi Tong. Uh, what a great character. I remember the first time that I saw Wan Shi Tong, just how, I don't know what the word would be, disturbed maybe, how, how disturbed I was, uh, but like in a good way. Um, so so anyway, um, really, really cool part of that world, uh, Wan Shi Tong's library. And so uh, great content that we have out there for Avatar Legends Nexus. And as you can imagine, uh, with the early access for the digital reader, and the game compendium, we are also, um, you know, fully in the concept phase and, and really uh, kind of at the end of the design phase for what uh, the character builder and digital sheet would look like for Avatar Legends Nexus as well. So uh, work, working those things in parallel and really looking forward to the time where we can, uh, can start working on that one and, and putting uh, fingers on keyboards for the code. All right, upcoming on the character builder and digital sheet, we did share last time that we have a target of late November for the first invites for the alpha, the, the developer alpha to go out uh, late this month. Yeah, we're in November now. So we are post Halloween and we are in November now. So late this month is the target for that. Uh, you know, disclaimers, this is software development. Things do go wrong, um, you know, fairly frequently. Um, so it, it's absolutely possible that it might not happen um, late November, but we are being very transparent with you and telling you that uh, that, that is our target. So that is what uh, we're mobilizing everything around. And that's what we, uh, you know, at least at this point in time, we believe those invites will go out before the end of this month. And, um, you know, so far, nothing is, uh, is making us doubt that. So <laughs> we will keep you posted in all of these dev updates. Uh, and, uh, and things are looking pretty good to get some of those invites out. Now, I also want a disclaimer what is going to be going on with the closed alpha. Uh, and I'm going to continue to talk about this more and more um, as we get closer to the time. But this is very much an alpha. I know that sometimes in vid the video gaming world uh, people will say alpha and really it's just a marketing tool that is trying to uh, you know uh, sell more of the games um, you know or, or whatever that would be and it's more or less a finished product or at least a product that is you know would be finished if they weren't cutting away all the uh, bits of content that they're later going to package for DLC and make you pay for them. You know, all, all the, all the bad things that happen sometimes in the video gaming industry. Um, you know, a lot of times alphas don't really mean alphas anymore. Uh, this is definitely going to be an alpha. There are going to be things that are rough around the edges, but um, what we are trying to do with this alpha is, um, you know, I lived through, uh, you know, there's no other way to put it than a horror story in my past life where, um, you know, people don't remember this a lot, but the very first time that a, uh, you know, character builder digital character sheet came out, uh, you know, for the world's oldest role-playing game, I, um, you know, just was inundated with just so much feedback about how it was not hitting the mark. It was not uh, checking the box. It was not scratching the itch. And um, we ended up going through a process at that point in time after having built a whole lot of stuff 
We went through a process that took about seven to nine months um, of, uh, of you know, what we had called a character sheet revamp at the time. And then we ended up, uh, you know, get, getting it pretty, pretty uh, in a pretty good place after that. But um, what we would love to do this time is obviously taking all the learnings of our past, uh, but also at this point, get this in front of really invested fans who love Pathfinder and uh, do some of that uh, ver uh, verification and validation a little bit earlier in the process to make sure that we don't have to go and completely uproot everything and, um, and do some big revamp right after we were uh, initially released something. So uh, we're, we're trying a little bit of a different approach. And given that this is going to be an actual alpha where we are collecting some of that feedback and the kinds of things that we're gonna look for, we'll talk about this more, but it's going to be, you know, hey, is, uh, is this getting the information you feel like you need? Uh, to you at the right time in the right places? Is it uh, going to, uh, you know, uh, is the flow, the general flow of what's going on, is that going to work? Like, so those, those are all the kinds of things that we're going to be looking for. And then we will continue to progress through, uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, more invites going out in the alpha phase. And then we will also go to an open beta at some point and all of this is intended to make sure that we are doing with the Pathfinder character builder and digital character sheet, that we are making it, it you know, exactly what people are looking for out there. And of course, it's not going to be able to make every single fan out there, uh, you know, uh, perfectly happy with everything. We, that, that's an impossibility, but we are trying to make sure that we are doing the best that we can for as many fans as we possibly can. And this alpha period is going to be a really, really important part uh, of that. So we're really excited to be able to let you uh, get in there and help us with it. If, you know, uh, working with unpolished and rough around the edges and unfinished software is not your thing, then I, Hey, that is perfectly fine. We are definitely going to let you know when this thing is what we consider finished and when it is ready. Um, and really that open beta point is going to be a great place uh, for you to jump on if you are you know, preferring a more uh, complete and, and polished experience. That's going to be uh, kind of that big milestone uh, for, for when that time is going to come. But we will let you know all along the way of what, what's going on. Uh, but if you like to get in and break things and provide feedback and all of, all of that, then this is going to be a perfect time for you to shine and for you to uh, you know provide some really valuable assistance to us as we are in that part of this process. All right, game content side, Pathfinder. Nothing's changed here. We have a great roadmap. It uh, seems like uh, Impossible Lands is coming faster than I thought it was. We were in a meeting yesterday <laughs> discussing that, uh, but I am looking forward to Impossible Lands, uh, and, and that one is coming soon. Uh, on the Vampire side, we are uh, going to continue to work through the roadmap there. Alien RPG, Heart of Darkness, the new cinematic module um, is released and we're uh, going to be working on it after we get Destroyer of Worlds in place. And then Hunter Nexus, in case you missed it, early access is going to begin later this month. So uh, on the 29th, uh, Hunter Nexus, that means that the Hunter Core rulebook is going to be available uh, on Hunter Nexus and uh, you'll have the game compendium and the digital reader available there. And then we are working on character tools uh, kind of in conjunction. I, I can't say whether they're going to release at the same time or not, but we're certainly trying to parallel thread as much as we can between Vampire and Hunter now. And, um, and either way, you know, we, we feel like at least at this stage that Hunter would be a fast follow for Vampire when we get character rules, uh, tools ready. So, uh, so really looking forward to that. All right, let's jump into, oh, a uh, quick reminder that tonight we are not going to have a normal episode of Children of Erte. We are going to have our monthly, um, you know, roughly monthly, yeah, no, no, it is monthly. I think we might have missed one, uh, one month because we were trying to make up for, for one of the weeks that we missed. But, um, but this time for On the Erte, it is going to be 
Deborah Ann Wall. And so you can come and ask her questions. And Sam, they are incredible at, uh, you know, pulling everything out. It's like that, um, that guy that's on, what is it, like inside the actor's studio or whatever it is where he's constantly making people cry. You know, that's not actually what happens here. It's more like Sam makes everybody smile really, really <laughs> wildly. And so Sam, they, they do an incredible job with this. And Deborah is going to be on tonight. You can catch that at 6 p.m. Pacific. All right, let's check out uh, some early screens of the character builder. So we have the Pathfinder character builder here. Um, I don't know what I am going to, uh, let's see, let's call this person um, Scar Gut, Scar Gut. We're going to call this one Scar Gut, and Scar Gut is definitely a goblin because I am a big goblin fan. And so with Ancestries here, um, we can go through here and browse. And of course, you know, we, we need this to be a goblin because uh, Scargut is uh, obviously a, a, a goblin. Um, we can pick our uh, backgrounds here. So uh, Scargut being an acrobat makes a ton of sense, of course. And then we also have our uh, class here. And um, yeah, like I could absolutely see Scargut being a um, being a bard. Scargut could really be anything. Um, and so, you know, we have our tool tips here, uh, everything you would expect to see, uh, you know, kind of going through here. But, uh, but the key thing is, is as you can see in this progression tracker, this is going to always tell you, you know, one of the things that uh, over the, uh, you know, last uh, several months, we've done a lot of looking into how notifications work in a variety of applications that are doing a really good job with notifications out there. And uh, so, for instance, something like Slack. Um, now, you might also argue that maybe Slack notifies you too well sometimes. <laughs> you need to turn those off. But, um, but one of the keys here is, uh, you know, you kind of always know if you have an unread message and you kind of know where to find that. And so as we are looking at, uh, you know, building characters, the whole concept is when you have choices and options that you need to uh, kind of solidify and confirm, you're always going to be uh, shown where those things are through uh, some of these notifications. And that's typically gonna take on this blue color. So uh, hopefully it's gonna you know, become very intuitive as you're going through that you're gonna understand um, you know, kind of how all of that works. And as those um, you know, notifications are happening, as you make your selections, then you can see that we go up to three because now we have three um, you know, additional choices that are happening here. That's also gonna be called out here. So again, at any given time, you're gonna know what you need to do to make sure that you're completing all the steps that you need to for all of the character creation. And so with our heritage here, so with a name like that, we definitely need to go with Iron Gut, I feel like. So we're gonna select our Iron Gut um, you know, goblin here and then uh, with ability boost, uh, we can come in here. We're being told, of course, that we're already getting boosted in those ways. But then with my free one, again, with a name like that, I feel like it's constitution. And so we can boost our constitution and all of that's going on. So that's all we're going to uh, you know, look at today. Just a quick little, little tease. But all of these things are starting to come together. I saw um, a build, uh, kind of an initial build of the digital character sheet uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Maybe it was the day before. Wait, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. So Monday, yes, that's when I saw it. Um, we've got the dice roller coming along. Very excited about that. It looks great um, and it's gonna be really useful. So all of the threads are beginning to converge. Um, we're working through a ton of data right now. And so the game content team uh, that is headed up by Melly, uh, but we also have Josephine and Sam. They do just an incredible job on our team uh, covering so much ground because Pathfinder has so much content. And I think that we are about, uh, we've got to do these things called modifiers. We'll talk more about those later. 
but um, we're about 80% finished with all of the class features. And, um, and, you know, in our internal application that we use for that, there are 29 pages, I think, of class features, and there are about, you know, I think uh, 20 a page. So tons and tons of these things, and the team is going through all of that, and we're getting really close to, uh, you know, kind of filling in all that data. So uh, tons of work going on. And all of the uh, the streams are converging here. And uh, again, we're pushing towards late this month, getting out the first invites for our closed alpha. So, all right, I think it is time for questions now. So we're going to jump over there if I can find it somewhere. Let's see, here we go. We'll find our questions here. All right, so... Um, we, we, oh, we had a plant. This was, was our ringer from Anatomy <laughs> Plane RPG. What is the best die in a seven die polyhedral set? Now, clearly this is a matter of opinion, but I am going to go with this opinion that I genuinely, and this, this might, uh, you know, sound like one of the more boring things that somebody like me would say but I genuinely like classics and I like the D6. Like I think I'm going with D6. Now, again, just like with dinosaurs, just like with, you know, favorite Marvel movie, different seasons of my life might produce a different response to that. But as of today, I like the classic D6. There's just so much. Uh, let, let me put it this way. I, I own way too many dice. And uh, the D6, especially when you have a, um, you know, some kind of decorative dice set, the D6 always gives the most canvas space. And um, I really love to see how those look in the set. So I, uh, I, I like the classic D6. All right. Uh, Rakeem, uh, are there plans for event weekends to show off new Nexus tools and bring in new players to the site? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean specifically by that. You know, I can I can speculate, um, but we definitely will have uh, we have a lot of plans, and those plans are going to kick off in earnest after we get uh, character tools development done. There really is a sense here with everything that's going on with Demiplane that um, we have had a wonderful early access period. Um, that's still going to be going on for a while, but, uh, but it's kind of like inviting people over to an unfinished house. And so it's like you're having company and, and you're asking people to come in and share a meal with you. Um, and the house isn't uh, quite completed. There are all, there's construction still going on. And so once we get to a place where the character tools are, uh, you know, in a, in a place where we want them. And again, I also want to clarify uh, we don't really ever see an, uh, a finish state here. Like there's always going to be something that we're going to be looking uh, forward to that is going to be, uh, you know, uh, helping bring more convenience and, uh, and streamline play of these games out there. So once we have character tools in place, yes, we will start looking into what it means to, you know, having counter management play, you know, so, so there's always going to be something, um, you know, new, but we definitely feel like once character tools are where we want them, that is the point where, you know, the house, the, the, the building of the house is complete. And then other things after that will be, you know, additions to that house. And so, um, so once we get uh, with this ridiculous metaphor that I'm using, um, once we get to a point where, um, you know, that the house is ready to go. We are going to do several things. And I don't know if it's going to specifically be, uh, you know, weekend events, but we will have many things that uh, we are going to be, uh, you know, showcasing the tools and also uh, trying to invite uh, new players into the games that we're supporting, but also into using Demiplane. And then, you know, over time, uh, you know, uh, kind of pushing towards some of the matchmaking and everything else that uh, kind of where Demiplane started. Uh, we're going to bring all that full circle as we get further down the road. Variathus, any plans for Pathfinder 1E? Not at this time, but uh, you never say never. So if we see enough demand out there, 
um, and we end up having the bandwidth in our development roadmap, uh, then I, I certainly would not say never, but at this point in time, we don't have plans for that. Uh, Decker on 82, any new Nexus coming out this year? I can't necessarily reveal that yet so that's one of the few things we, we've hit one of the few thresholds that i can't quite talk about yet but let me try to think that through there is the potential that one might enter early access um but uh but it could also get bumped into into next year but i think that there would only be one one that could happen this year but there are others that um, we will be talking about next year um, for, for sure. Phoenix D Black, will we get an HD version of these screens later? Uh, no, not at this uh, not at this time. We're not really interested in um, you know uh, uh, sh showing off the the super super small T. So we might get some screenshots. Uh, that will go in the forum post that recaps the dev update, uh, but but we're not uh, we're not at the point where we're like, hey, here here is this great thing that we want you to dissect, um, like uh, like the frogs in our tenth grade uh, biology classes. Uh, we're not uh, quite at that point yet, but um, it won't be too much longer before uh, screenshots are going to be out of our hands because people can take them uh, and, and share them uh, wherever. So uh, so we're not going to make special effort for that but uh, the forum uh, post might end up uh, seeing that. Decron 82, Starfinder 2023, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We definitely want to, we want to make Starfinder happen and we're looking for the right time to do it. And, um, you know, with all the games that we're supporting, uh, we've got to look at, uh, you know, the demand that's out there from fans and, um, you know, who is wanting to see what. So um, the Starfinder, love uh that we continue to see is certainly a consideration for that and uh and we'll share more as we have it cassius 335 at some point when able can we please get similar teases for the marvel character creator once we have things to tease we certainly will everything has been uh you know working at this point we are piloting with pathfinder 2e and that is where everything is going to start um, and then we have some design effort done for the World of Darkness um, games. Um, and, and that's really the only things that we, uh, and, and you saw that tease uh, last week during the Month of Darkness. Um, but with those, that, that's really the only thing that we would have that is ready for, for, for people to see at this point. But once we uh, have things to share, we will certainly share them. Uh, Cassius335, how many D D sixteens do you own? Honestly, I don't know if I own any D sixteens. If that was not a typo, now if it's D sixes, um, then it's going to be. Um, wow, I'm just trying to guess. Um, do D sixteens exist, uh, or is this a typo? If they exist. That's something I need to, uh, you know, make sure that I get some of because I don't have any. Uh, not a typo. Not a typo. The voice in my head, uh, Josh Simons, is telling me it's not a typo. D16. Don't own any of those. I don't know of any games that have ever required a D16 for me to make that investment. But um, but I am intrigued and I will look into it. Um, but with D6s, um, I own an embarrassing amount and I don't know if I could even quantify it off the top of my head. Maybe at some point I am, I, you know, this, uh, this office or museum or whatever you would want to call it um, is, um, is really in disarray right now. Like I have way too many new things that have come in and boxes piled in places just, you know, out of the camera view here. And so one of my big projects for the holidays is going to be to jump in and uh, you know, really, really get everything and put it in its place and, and make this place uh, really, really shine in here. And so as I'm doing that, perhaps I will count my dice because I kind of actually would like to, to know that for myself. So um, more to come on that potentially, but I will also need to look into D16s. All right, any other questions? Um, I'll give you maybe 10 seconds here. We're out of time anyway, but I would answer one if anybody has a fast one. 
they want to get into going once going twice sold all right that's great thank you so much for the questions thank you for joining me today really excited about everything that we have going on uh for the rest of this year and uh the team is working really really hard uh very grateful for all the effort that is going in we have an incredible team here at demi plane and um just really really blessed to be able to work with with wonderful people on a daily basis and um and and again working very hard and uh, everyone cares about what's going on. It's great to be in an environment where that happens. Uh, so, uh, so again, I appreciate it to the full team out there and uh, appreciate you joining me again. We will see you here. Yes. Next week. I will, uh, will be here. Uh, we'll see you here next week. Later Gators.